Hey y'all, it's Sheree. What's up? Back with another video. Happy Valentine's Day, baby. I hope y'all are spending this Valentine's Day with the one or ones that you love. In the spirit of Valentine's Day, I wanted to reflect on products that I have loved over the years that are now discontinued. I don't want to focus too much on reformulations because reformulations are just a part of the beauty product process. That's just something that's going to happen. Things are going to be reformulated. Uh, brands are gonna switch up on us. That's just a part of it. So I don't want to focus too much on reformulation. So we're not gonna talk about the main choice and um, Shea Moisture and brands that we all love that have switched up, changed the ingredients. Cause we could have a long list of products that have been reformulated, -re right? I want to talk about natural hair products that have completely disappeared, gone, can't be accessed, can't. Fine, not even a reformulation of that product. Products that have gone bye-bye forever. Let's get into it, y'all. But before we do, if you are new here and you've never seen my face, would you like my face? Definitely be sure to subscribe so you can stick around. Give this video a thumbs up if you like this type of content. A like goes such a long way. And turn on your post notifications so you don't miss another video video let's keep it real y'all this video is all in good fun i don't truly miss any hair care product because i mean there are hundreds of hair products there's always going to be something new to try always a new brand coming out this is just fun nothing to be taken seriously if you have products that you miss that have been discontinued or in your case have been reformulated and you miss them definitely let me know what those products are definitely chime down chime in down below i would love to know what products you miss you wish you could get your hands on on, that you stockpiled when you know it was going bye bye. Let's kiki and talk down below and let's get into my former faves. Let's start in wash day order. I'm going to try to include pictures as much as possible. I think there's, at least for most of them, there's going to be a picture. Some of them have been scrubbed from the internet, so I'll do my best. The first, we're going to start with a cleanser, a co wash, and this is a brand that I'm sure most of you have never heard of, especially if you're watching this and you haven't been natural as long as I have. If you've been natural for less than eight years <laughs> i don't think you've heard of it about this brand this brand is hair veda and i am talking about their amla cream rinse this was my first co-wash i ever used this was before eden body works came out with their co-wash before as i am came out with with their co-wash this at least for me was the blueprint this was the first co-wash that i had ever tried that made me interested in using co-washes to cleanse my hair something that wasn't a traditional shampoo at this time before this product as far as i know this was the only thing that we had that was an alternative i think that was diva curl but this was the first like black owned brand that had created its own low poo no poo type of product and i loved it i i went through several bottles of it i used it in the, this was the, i'm talking i'm talking about back in 2012 y'all this is back in the day 2011 2012 um hair veda is not around anymore but hair veda at one point had a hose on the natural hair community at that time and they had amazing products it was i think a lot of people People's introduction at the time to Ayurveda it was a good time it was a good time to be a natural it was a good time to be a black young woman and I, I miss that product because it reminds me of simpler times in the natural hair community um, easier times in the natural hair community when the when the community was actually a community right it wasn't commodified and broken down and honestly destroyed by capitalism it was a simpler time um, and that Amala cream rinse, it was Amala cream rinse or Amala cream rinse, it was good, it was really good. Um, it was cleansing but moisturizing. What can I say? 
now let's move on to conditioner this conditioner y'all had me in a chokehold i even mentioned this product in an old old video of mine from like back in 2015 or so if i if i can include that clip i will include it and because i mean the product was amazing first of all it was 32 ounces for five dollars you can't find that today and you definitely couldn't find it back then much has not changed it was moisturizing it had slip it was silicone free and it was cheap as hell it was a good time and it's the tresemme perfectly undone tresemme is notorious for discontinuing bomb products we had tresemme naturals when i was in college that has been discontinued that has been killed perfectly undone replaced the tresemme naturals for me it was a better product so i was okay with it and then they discontinued that. I don't even think that Tresemme has any silicone free products anymore. But back in the day, that Tresemme Perfectly Undone was a time. And I don't know why they discontinued it. It had simple ingredients. Again, the slip, the moisture, everything. And the fact that it was silicone free in a time where it was hard to find inexpensive silicone free products silicone free conditioners and it still is it's still hard to find silicone free conditioners in the drugstore that one just it showed up for the girls it showed up and showed out this deep conditioner i don't think has actually been discontinued i still think it's still available on the true by me beautiful site on the by me beautiful site girl i never know the name of that company or the product but i will link a picture um in 2017, 2016, 2017, that product had me in a chokehold to the point that I actually made it to my top products of 2017. Um, that product was excellent on my color treated hair. I'm sure it would have been excellent on my natural hair as well, my my virgin hair, just because it was so moisturizing. I think it's still available on the website, but I just I'm just not buying one product from the website. Like I'm just not doing that. If it was still at Sally's, definitely would still use it. I think it's so moisturizing. It had great slip. Back in the day, I would deep condition on dry hair and I was able to detangle my hair with it. I don't know if the formula has changed or anything. I haven't used it since like 2017, 2018. So I'm not sure if the formula is still the same, but back in the day, she really held me down. Now let's talk about this protein treatment. This is a new to us. I think most of us, this is new to us. Botanica, the Mender, NJ Eberhardt definitely put us on back in 2021 and now it's discontinued it did not have a long life okay uh, we we jumped on it and it went bye bye I think there's something happening behind the scenes with that company if you can still find your get your hands on it I still I, th I still think it's great and I think it's great for the culture I think in the natural hair community we have this thing where we don't value protein Everything is moisture, everything is softness, and we wonder why our hair is not prospering or retaining length, or because your hair is mushy and it needs protein. I still, I still value what Botanica did for the culture, um, allowing Black women access to protein treatment, to affordable protein treatments, twelve ounces for twelve dollars. A steal. Now we're gonna go into stylers. Most of the things that I miss are stylers. I'm very picky about my stylers. I'm picky about everything, but stylers, I mean, that's that's the end result, right? So, one styler, and this is a reformulation, but I had to mention it just because how important this product was to me at one point in my natural hair journey, and that's the extreme wet line gel. And I'm not talking about that new A shit y'all got now, okay? I'm talking about the original green top extreme wet line gel with the little handle. That's the one I'm talking about. The one that will come in like a 70 ounce from Sally's. OG, OG formula from like back in 2014. That is the extreme wet line gel I'm talking about, okay? Real OG. Um, Extreme line gel was one of the first gels, at least for me, that kind of revolutionized how I did my wash and goes back at that time. Obviously now in 2023, I am not a wash and go girl. Believe it or not, back in the day in 2014 when I was in college and I wasn't wearing wigs to basically hide from my hair because I was so overwhelmed, I actually wore wash and goes. Wash and goes are really my go-to style and I use extreme wet line gel. I would apply 
a leave-in conditioner on damp hair. I will go in with Extreme Wet Line Gel. And it wouldn't flake <laughs> like a lot of these gels flake today. I mix it with almost everything back in the day when I think about it. And I didn't have the flaking build-up issues like I have now with modern-day gels. Like that OG formula, I don't remember it flaking. And maybe because it was like 10 years ago, maybe my memory has softened the blow of bad hair days with that but for the most part I had good hair days with extreme wet line gel it was a good time extreme wet line gel hasn't been the same for years even the so not this formula that y'all hate but the previous formula that y'all love it still wasn't as good as that OG OG formula like you think you love something only because you've never experienced the actual good stuff, right? The second iteration of wet line gel was y'all's fave, but my fave was the first generation, the first iteration. That is a product that I miss because it changed the game. Buns, wash and goes, everything, and things won't be the same, okay? Um, all good things must come to an end, and R.I.P. to a real one. Also a gel that revolutionized the game as well was Eco Styler Blue, and Eco Styler still has a blue version, but all the Eco Stylers now have a hold of 10. Back in the day, like in 2014, 2015, there was an Eco Styler Blue that had a hold of I believe and it just had the perfect hold to moisture ratio I would get flakes with it because eco styler gel was definitely more finicky than extreme wet line gel but I had some bomb wash and goes with eco styler 8 as well great definition like I said softness hold moisture it was good eco styler was good now I don't support eco styler anymore just because mm, some stuff came out about eco styler a few years ago and I'm like I'm good on you but back in the day before I knew about the mess with eco styler eco styler was my ride or die I mean obviously eco styler olive is a, was a staple but eco styler blue was my favorite another styler that was really good that most of y'all probably have never heard about is the kiss my face upper management gel this was the this is one of the first botanical gels that were on the market that black girls kind of jumped on. Definitely wasn't for us. Kiss My Face is not, not black owned or anything. But back in the day, with all the like OG YouTubers, they jumped on it and it kind of had a learning curve. Because <laughs> I started using that before I knew how to do wash and goes. But one of my favorite wash and goes from back in the day, I think I have a video on it, was using that kiss my face upper management gel i mean just bomb hair just bomb and they had they reformulated it and eventually it's, it's i i think it's discontinued um that's just the trajectory right reformulations death when i think back about a really good wash and go that one still comes to mind even 10 years later and the last product is a product I think most people don't even know about because I'm not even sure how long it was around or people's access to it I actually got sent this in PR I think back in the day like in 2014 2015 let me get the name it was a curly twirls curling custard and after I used it up I searched everywhere for it and I couldn't find it I don't think this brand is around anymore but when I say this gave me hope in curling custards. Like curling custards are are dead to me because curling custards, they flake so much. They don't really give holes. But that curling custard was the first product that I tried where it didn't flake. It made all my styles bomb. I used this product for raw sets back in the day with my heat damage. And every raw set hit, baby. Every rod set was a hit. I'm pretty sure I have a video on YouTube using this product because at the time that product had me in a chokehold. It was 12 ounces, a little went a long way. It gave me the perfect amount of definition and softness. It was perfect. I don't know why. Like, if I could think of one product that I actually miss, that I actually would like pay $20 for, even though it used to be five, would be that product. Because that product is probably the most unique product I've ever tried. Uh, like, come back. <laughs> Please come. 
Please come back, especially because I'm in my rod set era. I would love to try that product on my virgin hair. At the time, I had color treated, heat severely heat damaged hair. I would love to try that today. I, I'm pretty sure it will still be bomb. Oh, I miss you. Like, I miss that product more products on the list and they are two like oil sealant butter types of products one of them i think has been like reformulated it's kind of iffy it is the nourish and shine by jane carter solutions jane carter solutions technically is now nourish and shine but the owner of nourish the owner of jane carter solutions is no longer involved Basically, she was kicked out of her own company. I guess the deal went wrong or something and she was kicked out of her own company and the products have the products have been reformulated and she's no longer involved. So I guess I'm including it because it's not really a reformulation because it's a whole new company. Even though the formulas in theory are the same, they are not. But the OG original Nourish and Shine baby if you have never tried nourish and shine what are you doing if you have never tried nourish and shine i am sorry to hear that because when i tell you about a softening smoothing just joyous butter this i think that made my favorites of 20 18 19 something in there i raved about the, that product a lot i think in like 2018 2019 I hate to see what happened to that brand and what happened to that product because I don't even think I had the first generation. The first generation had better butters like Elipe and Cocoon. By the time I got it, I got like the second generation which didn't have those like really exotic butters but it was still good and it was still moisturizing, still softening and now it's a shell even of the second generation. So I hate to see it because that Nourish and Shine was so good you can use it on your body left your your heels supple just so amazing and i miss her and then lastly is a product that i forgot about but i was talking to the girls in the insider tea and some of them were mentioning carol's daughter products and funny enough carol's daughter actually has a discontinued section on their website so i went through the products i knew i, I used to use carol's daughter products a lot more heavily than i do now and i went i went through the list and it reminded me of the lock butter y'all remember the Carol's Daughter Lock Butter. If you're an OG natural, I'm talking like nine, ten plus years, then you would know about this product. Um, I don't really remember this product, and it's not memorable, so it's not like oh my god, I miss it. But it it made me smile because it's actually one of the first products that I bought when I first went natural back in 2011. The Carol's Daughter Lock Butter and the Marguerite's Magic was like two very popular products in the natural hair community at that time. And I'm pretty sure I bought them on Amazon. That's when like natural hair products were finally going on Amazon. It's funny because like even though I'm young, ish <laughs> i've been natural for a long time and i've seen the growth of the natural hair community like i joined the natural hair community at like the beginning stages of the natural hair community right because 2011 2012 is when the natural hair community really took off and i we saw a lot of changes within the community and at that time like 2011 2012 products being sold on amazon was a big deal like it's funny to think back to that time right because now we buy everything on amazon and every company and brand is on, um, on amazon right at least the bigger ones so you you can't even think back to a time where this was this was novel this was new and i was excited for carol's daughter being available on amazon i purchased marguerite's magic and the lock butter and I use a lot of butter all the way up and it actually was a great styler I use it to seal my twist I wore a lot of twists back then I would wear it for twist out I would use it for twist outs to twist my hair it was just an excellent product um, great for sealing the hair because it did have beeswax in it which would like lock my twists in place lock my twist outs in place it was a good time um i can still smell it, it smells kind of like citrusy and like a citrus grease 
<laughs> I can still smell that scent. And it takes me back, like I said, to simpler times. Um, a lot of these products take me back to the beginning days when the community was the community. And it, you know, women in their bathrooms and like webcam footage and people didn't have these lights and all the pretentiousness that we have now and the brand deals and the sponsorships and the commission and the link. Sometimes it makes me kind of sad that most of y'all who are newly natural, you know, some of y'all I know just went natural last year, just went natural two or three years ago. You won't, you won't, you will never experience, you know, the true joy of being natural in the same way. It was different. I, I can't explain it. You just had to be there. You just had to be there. Um, but I'm glad I was there and I'm glad I got to experience that that black girl joy at that time um, but that's the end of the video y'all these are the products that I miss that were staples in my regimen that were staples for a lot of women in the natural hair community if you have products like this or similar definitely comment them comment them down below we'd love to continue this conversation in the comment section i hope this video if nothing else was fun to watch and i'll talk to y'all later peace happy valentine's day y'all be well love you so much